All right, today I'm going to go through a problem that's very similar to the end of chapter problem, chapter 2, number 5, in Vasenko and Bradigam. And what they tell us here is that uh, we know that the demand curve for ice cream is always stable. Uh, but what we have seen in most months is that the price is $4. And when the price is $4, people buy 300 servings per week. But for one month, the price of materials used to make ice cream increased, which shifted the supply curve to the left. Now, what a supply curve shift does is let you find another point on a demand curve. So the equilibrium price in that month increased to five bucks, and we saw that customers bought 200 servings of ice cream that month. So given this information, it asks us to do uh, basically four things. First, draw a graph of a linear demand curve, and we're going to find the equation of that demand curve. Uh, they want us to find the price elasticity of demand for a price of $4 and a price of $5 and what price would the demand be unitary elastic. And so as I said, this is very similar to the problem in uh, Basenko and Bradigam, but I changed a couple of numbers here. So let's see what they want us to do here. Now I'm going to use my standard little axes, but what I'm going to do is assume that on the quantity axis here, that these are in hundreds, and that this price axis is just in dollars. What I did is I graphed the two points that they gave us, $5 and 200 units, and $4 and 300 units. And then I just lined up a ruler and drew a line through those points, and this is what I ended up with. Now, let's look at what the equation of that line would be. Now, since uh, if, if the units on both axes were in ones, this slope would be minus 1. But since the x-axis is in hundreds, what we actually have is uh, the slope is rise over run, down 1 over 100, down 1 over 100. So the slope is minus 100th, or 0.01. And so if we write this as an inverse demand curve, this would be P equals the y-intercept, which is 7, dollars minus 0 0.01 times Q. If we wanted to write this as a demand curve instead of an inverse demand curve, we just solve this equation for Q, and we would get something like Q equals um, 700 minus 100 P. And we need to double check that that's correct. In a demand function with Q equals a function of P, this 700 is the x-intercept. So that's 700, that's correct. And the 100 is 1 over the slope. So it looks like we've got that right. So we know what the equation is given those two points. Now it asks us to find the price elasticity of demand at these two prices, $5 and $4. Now we can write the equation for um, price elasticity and demand like this. We can write it as the elasticity equals 1 over the slope of a demand curve when price is on the x-axis. So it's 1 over the slope times P over Q. Sorry, my cursor wasn't working right there. P over Q. Okay. And so for those two uh, points, it's pretty easy. 1 over the slope is 1 over the point 1, which is actually the slope we get in a regular demand function instead of the uh, inverse demand function. So the elasticity we can write as 100, actually minus 100, times P over Q. So when this price is $5, that's 5 over 200. And um, in the other case, we have minus 100 times 4 over 300 to get that other elasticity. 
So pause the video and calculate those and see what you get. Okay, so if you calculate those um, two elasticities, you get minus 2.5 up here. Let me type that up here so we can see where it is on the graph. And for this other green point that's a little further down, we're going to get an elasticity of minus 1.33. Now, along a linear demand curve, this is the trend you always see, that the further toward the top of a demand curve you are, the more elastic it is. As you get closer to the bottom, the more inelastic you get. Now, the question also asks us, at what point is the demand curve going to be unit elastic? Now, you can see we're getting close to that as, as we get to a price of 4, but we have to go a little further. The quick easy rule to remember about where to find exactly where that price elasticity of demand will be equal to minus 1 on a linear demand curve, if it's a curve or some other kind of shape it doesn't work, but if it's a straight line it's always going to be halfway down, so if the y-intercept is $7 it's going to be at $3.50 here and it's going to be halfway over on the quantity axis. So this is 300, this is 400. Uh, it's going to be at 350 units and a price of $3.50. Please verify for yourself that that is indeed the case uh, to make sure to convince yourself that, yeah, when the price is 350 and the quantity is 350 units, that indeed you will get the unitary elasticity of minus 1.